Eric Darling here with Darling Data. And uh, in today's video, we are going to do a very short PSA on an important difference. That's a public service annou announcement. We are not going to be testing our prostate hormone chemical levels. Uh, that's, that's a different channel. Uh, because what I saw this the other day, uh, working with some client code. And I looked at it and I said, huh, what, what happened to you <laughs> where, where you, would, you, would, you would feel the need to do this? Now, it, it, it was a, a bit of a developer misconception. Um, this while would have been perfectly fine as an if, uh, because what, what happens is um, SQL Server doesn't really support nested transactions in this way. Uh, Let's just run the demo. So if I run this, we're going to begin a transaction 1,000 times. Uh, and then here we're going to say, while the transaction count is greater than zero, uh, we're going to print the current transaction count, and then we're going to roll back a transaction. When we do this, note that we only print the number 1,000. You only need one rollback. If we were to change this to, say, commit, then we would end up with results that look like this. Now, notice for commit, we do de de increment, de decrement, I'm not sure what the right word is there, uh, the transaction count by one every time we issue a commit. And if I had the, the print under the commit transaction, you would see this hit zero, of course. But when you begin a transaction, you do need to pair that with a commit transaction. If you begin a transaction, even if you begin a thousand transactions, you only need to roll back once. So uh, if you're ever curious out there, maybe you're not sure what to do with rollbacks and commits. Maybe you stumble upon some code like that that really should have just been if trans count, trans count is greater than zero, we will roll back our transaction. Uh, maybe, maybe you're working with the same people I did, and they just haven't fixed all that code yet. Tough to say. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, technically, I, ho I hope you didn't learn anything, because you would be a dangerous human being if you learned something here. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching.